Hi everyone! We are Team Stocksdale, your missionaries in Maun, Botswana. We're here serving alongside a group of local churches, helping start the child sponsorship program Children of Promise, as well as coming alongside and working with the church in community and church development. And we were asked recently to do a video uh, for you guys as an update just about our family. So we're also going to do a video update for our ministry. But right now, this one is just, just to give you a glimpse of who we are as a family, how things are going for us, and what we've been up to. So we have our three kids here. We have Olivia, Simeon, and Declan. Olivia is about to turn 11 years old. And Olivia, what grade are you in? I'm in standard five. Yes, and Simeon, his birthday is really soon. How old will you be, Simeon, on your birthday? I will be nine. And what grade are you in? Standard four. Yeah, and Declan, how old are you? Six. And what grade are you in? Standard one. Very good. They're doing so well in school, and they're also really enjoying their afternoon activities. Olivia, what's your favorite afternoon activity? My favorite afternoon activity is either drama club or hip hop. And what about you, Declan? I like, I like swimming, but it's too cold, so we can't swim this year. Okay. This and, term, yes. And Simeon, yes. how about you? My favorite afternoon activities are drama and robotics. So it's been a year and a half since we were last in the States as a family. And so I, a lot has, has gone on, a lot has happened for our family here in Botswana. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a tough year and a half, specifically medically. Uh, we started out just a couple months after we returned back. Three of the five of us uh, were more or less hospitalized with something called Bilharzia, which is a, a parasite. And so uh, that, was, that was a very rough uh, period for us. And, just a bit scary. And then since then, uh, Abby has is about to have her second surgery. She had a surgery in July last year and then is about to, to fly back to the States for another surgery, completely unrelated to the first one. But um, she's gone through a series of medical tests and stuff uh, to, to tell us you know, what's going on. She actually had to go down to South Africa to get all of her testing done. So it has been uh, an uphill journey when it's come to our health but we have trusted God in it and he has proved faithful time and time and time again and he gives us ways in which we can deal with the hardships of life and we really thank God for, the, for that as well. Yeah we found it really important especially in the past 18 months um, to have really healthy outlets to be able to um, just you know, get get out with some of the negative energy of all the things that have happened. But the way Corey does that is he's been able to join a few biking groups that they just drive, they ride their bikes out into the bush. Um, and he's also been able to socialize with people that way. Being a people person, it's been such a life-giving opportunity for him. Um, he also goes on runs, sometimes with a friend, and then sometimes he's just going on his own and uses them as times of prayer with the Lord to kind of revive his spirit. He also is really into wildlife photography, so something that we do as a family to rejuvenate and kind of reset ourselves when we need to is we get to go out into the bush. You know, there's millions of tourists that come into this small little town every year just to do the wildlife experience, and it's our backyard. It is such a life-giving opportunity, and Corey with his photography to capture those moments, it's so cool and such a blessing. For myself, exercise also continues to be such an outlet for me as it has been my whole life. And as you may know, um, my history, my vocational history has been in exercise science. And I've actually gotten the opportunity in the past year to um, apply and get accepted as an ambassador for a program called Revelation Wellness, a ministry called Revelation Wellness. And what that is, is it's using um, fitness as a tool to share the good news. 
So it's kind of a faith and fitness approach. And as an ambassador, I got to go through the training for free with the understanding that I come back and I serve my community where I am living with Revelation Wellness. And so being able to get back into teaching some fitness classes again, my demographic looks a whole lot different because it's these tiny little preschoolers, but it is the greatest joy to get to go and move in joy with them. And so um, I'm so happy to be able to be doing that as well. We hope this gives you a small glimpse into our personal lives, what life is like for us just on a daily basis, some of the things we've gone through and how we're doing. And we sure thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, your support, your encouragement. And make sure to check out the ministry video that, that we will be putting out uh, very soon and you'll get to see all the wonderful things God is doing and a couple of exciting things on the f in the future that we haven't really shared yet. So we look very forward to sharing those with you all. Uh, love and grace to each and every one of you.